Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing my favorite products with you for the month of January. So if you want to see the products that I've been absolutely loving, then just keep watching. Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I am a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all of the new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys. I try out a ton of makeup, so I always love to come back to these monthly favorites so that I can tell you what has kind of came out on top, what has stuck around with me, and what I've also been digging into kind of on the side. Normally, I like to start off with a channel of the month. Honestly, I did not watch very much content this month. I've just been chilling, I've been working. I definitely took a step back in the month of January just because there weren't as many releases. I took that opportunity to relax a little bit, but that doesn't mean I didn't have some amazing products that I tried this month. So we're going to start off with kind of a lifestyle favorite. I don't know. It's it's deodorant. Yeah, so it seems that natural deodorants are very popular. I one day told a story of how deodorants can cause cancer to Jose and he was like, we need to try natural deodorant because he looked into it. So anyways, we've been on the natural deodorant journey and for a while I was using Native and I liked it. And you know, Native does all the sponsorships. I think I bought it off of Jen Loves. I bought it from her link and we liked Native. I think Jose still prefers native so if native ever wanted to sponsor me I would still take it but Kopari actually sent me a PR package and I'm in love with their deodorant they are my new favorite natural deodorant I feel like with native I had to reapply throughout the day because I would get a little stinky with Kopari I feel like I don't really need to reapply it's a little bit more of an oily feeling so that's why Jose isn't as into it as I am but I just feel like it it makes me smell a little bit better than native and I love how smooth it is across the little armpits, you know, but anyways, I did just want to share that the Kopari worked out for me. One of you guys let me know that Kopari actually burned your under eyes. Under eyes? Oh my goodness. I talk about makeup too much. That <laughs> Kopari actually burned your armpits. I've had the opposite experience where Native has burned my armpits. So I'm happy about Kopari. <laughs> I love it. So I don't know if you're on the market for a new natural deodorant. I've been really into the Kopari. All right, I have one skincare item for you. This is the Good Molecules Yerba May Wake Up Eye Gel. I've been loving this. So I'm very picky about my eye creams just because I feel like they can give me milia if they are too thick on my under eyes. I haven't had that experience with this one yet. It is very lightweight and it is called a wake up eye gel because it actually actually has a cooling sensation when you apply it to your under eyes and I love it before makeup. I love it in the morning because it does have that cooling sensation to wake up your under eyes and I just love how lightweight it feels. The best part about Good Molecules is how affordable they are. They're sold on Beautylish. They are Beautylish's skincare brands but it's amazing how affordable they've been able to make these skincare products and I believe like they're 100% reliable. They don't test on animals. They give you the list of every ingredients made in Korea it's a fabulous skincare brand. Next up, we have a new foundation that I tried this month that I absolutely uh, fell in love with. This is the Guerlain Lysentral High Perfection Foundation. Now, this was a new foundation, but they actually have a natural glow foundation, which is the you know, like the glowy version of this. And I actually fell in love with the matte one. Now, I wouldn't say I love the matte one over the glowy one. I think they are about the same as far as how much I love them and how much I love their performance. They're just different. And I've been liking the more matte vibes. Now, this isn't a really dry matte. It, it's more of like a satin matte. It does have a little bit of reflection when the sun hits you, but of course it's not quite like the natural glow. I've been liking the more matte finish lately just because if you have textured skin, like I've been struggling right here on this cheek. The glowy foundations are going to emphasize it 10 times more with the matte. I do feel like it kind of flattens the face a little bit more. It gets rid of texture and then I'll go in with more glowy products like highlighter and glowy blush afterwards to bring back some shine to my face. But the Guerlain foundations in general are just phenomenal and what's great about the high perfection is even though it's matte, it still looks really great on my dry skin. So don't be afraid if you do have dry skin. There is the Gucci foundation. I felt like that really emphasize the dryness on my skin. This does not. It sits perfectly. My skin looks perfected. I have a whole review and wear test and also a comparison between this and the natural glow if you are interested in learning more.
more about this foundation, but it's about a medium or so coverage. It has a very flawless finish and it's just, it's beautiful. I love it. I've been absolutely obsessed with it. Love the way that it wears. It's very long wearing. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous foundation. It's been a while since I've had a foundation that I really loved and yeah. So the next product is from the Chanel Spring Collection and you guys know I've been trying to dive a little bit more into Chanel so I picked up the Fleurs de Printemps. I know I'm saying that wrong but I'm really lazy and I don't want to look it up right now. How beautiful is this blush duo? So right now I'm only currently wearing the blush on my cheeks and it Ugh, I love this color. I don't typically go for blushes that are this shade, but I love it. It gives the most glowy finish to the skin. The formula is impeccable as well as the highlighter. It's a gorgeous product. It's, it's very, very pricey, so I wouldn't say you need to run out and grab it. But if you're into Chanel, you like the brand, and you want to know if this is good, it is amazing. I'm not huge on Chanel. I don't have a huge collection, but I regret nothing with this purchase. It's definitely been my favorite cheek product this month and into the next few coming months it is a great introduction to Chanel for me because if all of their products are as good as this one I will continue to purchase more let me just say that all right and then I have a luxury quint that I did want to share with you guys I actually put the Chanel in this in a review as well but this is the Dior pink Sakura palette and it looks like this and you guys know I had to pick this up if you're at all familiar with my channel pink and purple are my vibe and I had to try it out see if it was the great Dior formula and when I swatched this I was very 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 underwhelmed by it this does not swatch good but where this shows up beautifully is when you apply it this is a sophisticated purple palette if you're not into super duper vibrant purples but you still want to add a little element of color to your look I definitely recommend this the formula is really great for mature lids it's not overpowering but it is just so beautiful. I love a nice hot punchy pink and purple on my lid but there's something about this where it just makes purple wearable and sophisticated. I, I love it. The quality is beautiful. It applies beautifully and it's one of my favorites especially obviously it's one of my favorites for this month but I love it. I also had to include everything in the new Natasha Denona what is it called? Mini Love Story collection because she killed it with this collection. I love every single product that she came out with. So we'll start off with the Love Cheek Duo Cream Blush and Highlighter. This is supposed to be the highlighter in the or no the the blush in the Daria palette from Natasha Denona I feel like it's a little bit of a different formula and a little bit of a different color so I think they're a bit different but anyways this is a beautiful pink blush but what I really love the most is the highlighter this is the highlighter that I opted for today truly I do not have a highlighter that looks like this it has like a mauve lilac and gold shift to it it's beautiful I just it's a unique color. This was 100% worth it and the packaging is everything. I love everything about this. And then of course we'll get into the eyeshadow palette as well. $25, you can't beat it. The quality on this, really great. The typical great Natasha Denona formula. So this is the eyeshadow palette that I opted for for today's look. I just love it. I used mostly the pink all over my eyelid to get more of a pink look and then of course I went for the plum in the outer corner and I feel like there is some versatility in this palette. It has the kind of colors that I love and again it definitely was a hit. The quality is it's really good so I love this one and then the lipstick. Normally I'm not too excited about the lipsticks that come out with her collection. It's just kind of like another thing to make you spend more money but this color Oh my goodness, it's a beautiful, cool, pinky nude. If you're into cooler, like purple looks or pinky looks, this lipstick is going to look beautiful. I love the Natasha Denona formula. She by far has one of my absolute favorite lipsticks formulas. They're so creamy, they're so moisturizing. But this color, I love it. I don't, I can't at the top of my head think of a color that I have that's quite like this. I probably do because I'm a makeup order. But I love this color. It's just, it's so good. Especially with the colors that I've been loving to wear lately. Everything, everything. I, that whole collection, obsessed. Speaking of obsessed, 
At the beginning of this month, I filmed my lip swatches from my Pat McGrath $12 sale, and I got a lipstick in the name Obsessed, and um, I am nothing short of obsessed with it. So this is just a gorgeous hot red orange color. Normally, I'm not into too orangey of lipsticks. I don't find them to be very flattering on my skin tone, but this has a little bit more red in it than orange, and it's so beautiful and bright. I'm going to insert a photo right here so you can see what it looks like. It is it's a gorgeous color, a beautiful formula, and you guys were also quite obsessed with this color on me as well. I just, I haven't come across a red-orange lipstick yet that I've really loved, but this one was it. This is the perfect red-orange lipstick for me. It's amazing. Okay, and then the last product that I want to share with you guys are eyelashes. So... Ardell put me on their PR list and it's been the best thing that's ever happened to me. They just, they have so many eyelashes. So they came out with the 3D Faux Ming Eyelash Collection. So look for the gray silver packaging because I just feel like there's a lot of repetition in their words and you don't really know what's what. So it should say 3D Faux Ming with this gray packaging. These are really like Faux Ming lashes. They're so affordable for what they are. And I'm a girl who likes Lily lashes, which are like $30 a pop, but these give them a run for their money. So I'm currently wearing 858 and look how beautiful they look. And I have smaller eyes. I don't like too much of a big obnoxious lash. And I feel like this line also, they're wearable enough, but while still also a little bit bold. The other one that's really beautiful is 861. So I'm going to direct you to the site where they have this specific collection because it's a gorgeous collection. If you're looking for some more expensive lashes that aren't actually expensive, they just look a little bit more expensive. I've been using this lash line a lot lately. All right, you guys. So that was a pretty quick monthly favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Yeah, some good products really came out this month. I feel like there wasn't a lot of new releases, but the stuff that was released was definitely some like really good pickups. So I'm excited for the Valentine's Day releases to start coming out because I'm in love with those colors and the packaging. But anyways, I hope you guys all had a good beginning of your 2020. 21. It's just nice and slow for me, which I can't complain about. And yeah, that's all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Have a good one.